Hello there. For tonight's shave, we'll be using my Simpson Duke 2 and Simpson's Best razor tonight. It's my H. L. Shaw and L. Shaw, H. L. Shaw and Son. Six eight round point Sheffield and the soap tonight we're going to review through the fire fine craft special edition shaving soap puck steel this puck was given uh, as a as a gift along with the uh, shaving bowl, the custom group shaving bowl she did for North America's Best Wet Shavers Club. And I, it's a wonderful scent. I spoke to Maria a little bit about it. Uh, she said that, and I can, can confirm, that this is a bit harder puck uh, and that it contains tallow. This is a kind of a sneak peek of her upcoming seasonal and new scents, which are coming up this Friday. What is today? The 20th. So the 23rd of October. And uh, I encourage you to go and look and check out her new scents, it's particularly steel. I can't describe... Maria's scents are really, uh, to me, they're unique. Uh, they're difficult to describe. She always has uh, a scent profile, well, not quite a scent profile, but like all the different types of scents that are in encompassed, whatever shaving soap it is that she makes. But it always ends up being something to me that just really... Uh, Smells like a really sophisticated cologne or ADT good stuff. Uh, in my opinion, it rides a line between the old school masculine and the new school scents. It's not quite the newer new school type scents, and it's not quite the old. It's something, there's something to me that's kind of right in the middle. Of course, your mileage may vary, but. Uh, they're wonderful scents, and uh, I encourage you to give them a shot. Her soap is first rate as far as performance goes. Uh, it lathers really easily. It, uh, it's got a wonderful cushion, good slickness and glide. Uh, just good stuff. Uh, you guys have heard before, uh, you know, the limes and bergamot that she makes for uh, Maggard is uh, probably the best lime scent that I've ever tried. And it's just, I love her soaps. And I love... her this group bowl that she made for us it's just wonderful it's a wonderful lather bowl the uh, it's a perfect size and the little ring down here at the bottom i've got shaving slick shaving soap on my hand right now that's holding this bowl and this bowl is not going to be going anywhere uh, i can hang on to it with confidence and I don't have to worry that I'm going to lose a grip on it. And the lather is just, I want to add more water. The lather is just blowing up in this bowl. Lovely stuff. I like the shape of the bowl too. Because you don't, 
you just heard that little smack. You don't get that very often in this bowl. It doesn't smack up against your your brush doesn't smack up against the rim of the bowl. Now, really, really quick, lots of lather in that from that soap, and it's growing in the bowl. I uh, tend to beat my lathers quite a bit until they reach a. There's a. Uh, a sheen that I look for on ladder and a lot of times the difference between getting that sheen and, and just getting a nice fluffy lather so it works really well but it doesn't have that sheen and that and a, and a certain consistency I'm looking for a lot of times the difference in that is how much you smack on the lather how much you work that lather and for me now that just a lovely lather to me I'm looking for that sheen I'm looking for that uh, look on my lather I'm looking for a, a certain kind of consistency that goes along with that so I tend to work lather a lot longer than it really probably needs for most people but then again I tend to put more water in my lathers than a lot of people as well scent strength on the face I'd say is about a six between six between one and ten as far as the, as the intensity of the strength of the scent uh, that's about the only thing I give numbers for in a soap Because in my opinion, that's one of the one one of the few things that's consistent enough across the different soaps to really rate like that. <coughs> There's a whole lot of different types of <coughs> of. Uh, <coughs> <coughs> Characteristics in soap, and a lot of it from soap to soap is not really easy, in my opinion, to characterize with numbers because you've got to come up with a baseline, and everybody's baseline soap is going to be different. When not everybody's going to pick one specific soap and say, "Okay, this is the baseline. This is the standard baseline from which." We're going to judge all the other soap from. Everybody's will be different. With scent, scent has been around so much. It's in colognes and perfumes and EDTs. It's even in stuff like uh, uh, air fresheners. And, uh, you know, scent is something that's universal. And it's a lot easier to judge like that. You know, just the strength of a scent is a real simple kind of thing to do. So... Anyway, that's my reason that I do that that way. Lovely. <laughs> nice and slick. Maria's soaps are always good and slick wonderful scent uh, I've tried her tender uh, Mark Hunter Green sent me a a wonderful sample of it a while back and it has the same kind of uniqueness to the scent to me is just a really 
sophisticated kind of cologne type scent that just uh, works wonderfully. Now I can't find my my washcloth, so I need to get a new one. I got like boatloads of lather in that bowl. I really did not need that much lather. But I'm just saying, I mean, you guys saw how little I loaded that pump. And uh, you can see that the soap is really easy to make a lather out of. It's a good lather, in my opinion. It doesn't dry. Actually, it's a great lather. And it doesn't dry my face out. It, uh, I've never experienced any kind of irritation with the her soaps that I have used. I'm sure, you know, it's happened. It, it happens with most soap makers, I would think. There's enough residual slickness that I can go right back over that area and not even worry about adding water. And I must be really getting better with shaving with a straight, but second day in a row, I don't need any touch up whatsoever. That's so close to what most people would de deem as BBS. You guys know I don't fool with that. I don't, I don't worry about it. I don't chase it. I don't use those acronyms. I, yeah, but that's a really, really, really close shave. Yesterday's shave, I can't even remember. Oh, maggot lines and bergamot. Maybe your arm. Uh, yesterday's shave, got a really close shave. Wonderful stuff. And I'm going to finish it off with Stetson Cooling Moisture. I have added... This has a bit of menthol in it to start with, but I've added quite a bit of menthol to it. Wonderful stuff. All right. Through the Fire Fine Craft Special Edition Shaving Soap Pup Steel. Wonderful stuff. Comes out the general public on Maria Armand's website through the fire fine craft Friday 
October the 23rd. Excuse me a moment. Lovely bowl. All right. God bless you. Thank you for joining me. And I will see you next time.